Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long while. I'm finally back uh, after a bit of a break doing some other things. But today we'll be going to Luna's um, comeback with Pain the Town music video and the AND album. And of course, the showcase stage, as I would always react to as well. Um, so, some information about who Luna is. I am quite new to them. I know they debuted quite a while back, but I've only gotten into their music last year. But before that, let's get into a bit of who they are. They are a girl group formed by Blockberry Creative, and they were introduced to a pre debut project which began in October 2016, in which the 12 members of this group, they released promotional singles in the following 18 months from there. So, you know, they had uh, several solo tracks and as well as like unit tracks. In 2020, last year, they actually had songs that charted on the album charts in Korea and the Billboard, and also won their first award, like their first show win uh, for So What On. Mnet's M Countdown. But unfortunately, during that this time of their peak or say the new high of their career, um, their leader Ha Seul couldn't participate because of mental health concerns. So throughout the 2020, with their promotions um, and album releases, she didn't participate on it, even though her vocals were featured on the songs on the album. And it's pretty good, you know, they hit new heights with this the two albums in 2020. Uh, one which was titled Hash, their second EP, and their third EP titled Midnight of the single Why Not, which was the song that actually caught my attention of the group. And this is their best-selling album to date. And so this album, it actually debuted at number four on the Gaon album chart and even entered the Billboard 200, debuting at number 112. So right now we are back in, you know, 2021, June 2nd, they actually released a teaser um, confirming that all 12 members will be back to promote on this comeback. They have branded themselves as a performance group in the sense that because with at least maybe over seven members, it's kind of the performance aspect kicks in much more for every song that they promote on music shows and their title tracks. So with them clearly as a 12 member group, the performance aspect is really important here and for one of the members, Yojin, in uh, an enemy article, they did say um, how this new song, Pain the Town, or PTT for short, um, is, is a song that defines them the best and shows all the 12 members' colours within this song. As of whole, the album itself, they say that, you know, it uh, it's like a new new venture for them trying out deep ballads um, instead of them just doing EDM in their Midnight album last year. Um, and I'm really interested to see, you know, how else they've evolved their sound. I've, I love that, that song from them last year. Um, didn't really get into the album. Um, yeah, because I, I guess there's so many groups, right, out there. And honestly, for me, I'm not someone who is really keen on 12 member girl groups. It's like there's too many people to look out for. Uh, of course, with Treasure as the exception uh, for some, I guess, because I love YG. But I'm, I'm more inclined to like four members, five members, six members, seven members, or at most nine members, such as Twice. Um, and, but I, I'm, I'm really willing to keep an open mind about this and, you know, uh, explore different groups and interestingly, you know, they've, they debuted in 2016, so I would say they're kind of like the same generation as Blackpink, but to me, in my eyes, they seem to be kind of still of a rookie stage. Not that I'm saying I'm offending them, right? It's just that, you know, because their, their rise, their new heights that they, or their breakthrough happened only last year. So I would count that as more like, oh, you know, this is, like they're, they're fairly young because of that. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's good because, you know, it's, it's kind of like this, giving this, a renewed look for them in the public eye and I hope that this album brings them new heights, new wins, more wins, um, new awards and yeah, you know, they need to be, I hope they be put more in the spotlight in the K-pop industry 
and even with now having a bigger international audience who are looking at K-pop as an industry. Without further ado, let's get into Paint the Town, the music video. Uh, I always like the music videos, especially with Why uh, Not. The, the music video is so expensive. I, I'm, I'm quite surprised because this is Blockberry Creative's um, first and you know only group under them. So I mean, I'm considering they're not the big three too. And in general, smaller companies or I say like companies with, with who have just debuted with one group only, they tend to be less budgeted in terms of like the promotions, the the you know music videos. But wow, they have managed to keep up with consistency in quality of the music videos. And with the album itself, it sounds so you know rich with different kinds of music and you have western composers western songwriters on the album as well so it's gonna be a really big plan of like i guess trying to appeal to the western public as well not just no longer just the korean audience because clearly they have hit new heights in the billboard charts so with that said let's get into the music video for paint the town yeah the music video quality see what i mean it's so good and she's channeling i'm sorry i don't know all the group members names like um i'm matching it to the face so i apologize if i have no idea who each of them are but i promise as i get into this group more i will i will pay attention to who is who oh i love the sound it's like edm indian music but edm also Oh, the hook! I love that. Kind of said there's no English subtitle, so I have no idea what they're exactly saying. But I know that Paint the Town is about them painting, asking the listeners, the fans to paint the town with their 12 colors, their 12 member colors, in a sense. Oh, this drop! I wish they could have been more like, you know, I can faintly hear. Um, a low voice being like on the paint the town and I hope it could have been louder because it is a very low drop the beat could have been more I don't know more beats here because it seems a little bit too slow in a sense that I'm not sure how to even put it but the verses wise really up there you know see the raps I love that you know even though I don't know who each members are like in terms of like recognizing their faces, but you can see their different qualities and there's different looks that are given for each of them. And I think that's a very good treatment for a 12 member girl group. Yeah, this pain the town, they, the low voice needs to be louder, I feel. I would love that more. And the la ta 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 could have been a bit softer to make more emphasis, give more contrast. So I've like paint the town as the focus of that drop. Okay, I like this change in the, you know, second part of the chorus, I guess. Oh, I love this layered sound. So like the layered voices, right? Build up. Oh, I love this spoken word part. This na 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 part gives me a lot of Evergrowth adios sound but yeah i love the sound this is definitely a song that i would play this um for sure uh it's definitely up my alley in this kind of music um yeah i i mean i've just had some pointers about what the how the song sounds like in terms of the drop there it's not as impactful as i was hoping it to be but i think with more lessons i would just i would get over that you know it's it's fine with me because everything else from the actual you know production of the song itself in general and the verses itself it's it's a it's a hit for me um and hopefully with the general public i think with the western audiences they should be able to get into this track um quite easily especially they had like the bridge with english so you know i think that that makes it a catchy hook uh in a sense uh, as part of the song um and it's very well produced the music video few sets of course but the quality, the visuals that they were giving, right? With each member giving them individual looks and colors definitely brings in that, that's that you know, that, that meaning of 
painting the town. Of course, I was thinking that they would go literal, in a literal sense of like, there'll be a town, and then they'll be like dancing in a town or something, and then they'll be like spray painting some things. But maybe, I, I'm glad they, they did take a different route to surprise us with something different, and definitely more performance-based, right? We, we see more of them, their choreography, instead of like, let's say, like a storyline happening. Um, and it is true, it's, it is very performance-focused, and I'm, I'm happy for that. Right, um, I'm happy that they're exploring this hip hop dance genre, um, and it says here that you know it's uh, they are exploring Bollywood songs, the sound, dubstep, 808 bass sounds, Indian flute, which yeah definitely carries as a hook of the song in the chorus section, um, and yes, the definitely the build up. I'm one for like these kind of build ups, right? Um, where there's like the layerings, and then the the, the voices soar. That is definitely like the formula for a good song for me, a good pop song. So with that said, let's get into the actual album track list. Um, yes, and I'm really happy that, you know, with uh, Luna, their albums, they um, on their YouTube channel, they were actually put in the description, you can check it out for yourself. They put a uh, description of what the this era is, this album is, and each song, what each song, each song means, intentionally means to the group or to the um, Blockberry creative. Um, and with this album, um, they're saying that uh, the Lunaverse, they're conquering, they're discovering a bigger world, right? And painting the world with their own colors. And uh, after they have found their own colors. First, we have Anne, the intro, which is about a story of um, people coming together, you, me, us, together becoming one after breaking conventional symbols. And then with the title track, PTT or Paint the Town, which is a hip hop dance genre track and most intensive and explosive energy of Luna they have released so far. And, and then we have Wow, which is a, also a bouncy up-tempo and infectious song, um, encourages girls to be strong and confident through this empowering song. And then we have Be Honest, which is a song that's upbeat as well. A lot of upbeat songs, I guess. Um, confident about in the feelings and being honest, just as the name of the song. And then followed by Dance On My Own, which is an emotional but very energetic song that mixes guitars with hip hop drums. Okay, I would love to hear how that sounds. Do check out the highlight melody on their official channel. I did check it out and I have to say, I yeah, a lot of the songs got me hooked. Um, I'm one for upbeat songs, right? Um, especially in this climate of like summer and everything. So I think it's really fitting. And then we have Different Night, which is about the story of the girls who spend different nights at the same time, an emotional ballad song uh, with a signature melody of a dreamy and sentimental pad and plug sound. And then lastly, we have You Are, a lo-fi R&B song with a sentimental piano and gentle electric guitar combined with Luna's voice. It's about expressing love to the loved one who approached you like a heartwarming star and shined upon you. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the album. All right, you know, let's get into the album. I'm really excited to hear what sounds they're gonna give. Um, and I know uh, for several of the songs they've collaborated with uh, Western composers. So I, I will be interested to see how all this fits in together for Luna and this era. Pretty let's get into it. Ooh. Sirens in the beginning. I'm always interested how K-pop um, groups view intro tracks for a body of work. And it seems like they typically treat their first track as instrumentals. Um, that kind of I guess for fans to kind of also get into the album in the sense of like, oh, hypeness of the song, or hypeness of the album. And I can imagine this being used in an actual concert of them. Like, uh, to, like uh, them rising from the stage or something like that. That would be so cool. But definitely, whoa, this is a very impactful intro track. Although I find it weird to listen to like the outside as a track on its own. But definitely it's a PTT um, intro song, like for PTT. It's like a prelude to it, almost. 
I can imagine this being used on like actual award show stages and then they would use this as the first track. Interesting. I mean definitely gives sets a tone, right? Alright. Let's get into wow. Okay. This is definitely a bit of a different sound from PTT. In terms of like it's brighter, more summery, that's for sure. And a bit more maybe the keys at the back. Like a bit jazzy feel. Oh, I love the melody, the choice of like the melody. Oh, the hope, yes, and the build up. Mm-hmm. Let's go. As a B-side, I would download this track too. Hmm. It gives me of a like Wild Thing by Sugi uh, sound. I don't know, yeah. Oh, I love who's ever is doing the ad lib at the background throughout the verse. Definitely adds to the bounciness of the song. It's definitely the energy is giving exactly like Sugi's um, wild thing. Yeah, it's... Oh, the falsettos. Ooh, makes it very light too. Oh, the key change though. Love that. Oh, the boom. Whoa, I love that. Mm -mm. And then now it's like kind of a snappy rhythm. Oh, the belt. Let me see what the other songs are after this, but it feels a bit, a little bit, uh, quite of a change in color from Paint the Town, that's for sure. But I think it's worthy enough to be an actual title track as well, because it's so layered. Oh, I love that song. Download for me for my playlist. Next we go with Be Honest. Whatever it is that is going in the background that that's constant plucking string thing definitely get makes it so catchy for me. I then the obvious doom cha doom cha you know Ooh. I'm glad that for them they didn't choose to go down the route of like retro sounds as is like the case for a lot of groups that you know have recently released things um, because it's like kind of the in sound now I mean this is a bit more retro-ish but definitely as part of the body of work it's just one song out of it so it's, it's, it's not so like blatantly obvious and I'm glad they try out this as well and it's so layered, it's so thick and I enjoy that because a lot of times for K-pop albums it's like the title track is it's really obviously meant to be title track but the other songs is like kind of very either poorly mixed or not layered enough uh, or lack much thought into it as compared to the title tracks I mean of course that's probably why they chose those whichever song is the title track but I, I really do hope that to hear quality in every single song in their own way like it can sound like all the songs can be title tracks you know that would be definitely the dream for me right oh that constant tick 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 beat and the background gives it that EDM feel of it oh I love that they need more rap in their songs okay I need I need more of the rap I love the rap it's like a new take on retro beats, you know, because they have like rap, they have, their verse sounds different. You, it, it definitely doesn't follow this, this jazzy beat. Alright, now we get to Dance On My Own. Okay, something a bit more ballady. it's kind of things are winding down. Okay, I agree with Wow and Be Honest being next to each other. Yeah, that's for sure. Because they, they definitely sound really close in the sound. And this connects kind of nicely as well. I mean, taking into consideration that the next songs are going to be more ballad-like. But this is a mixed, good blend between chill and yet upbeat at the same time. Actually, the hook right now, the build-up kicking in. 
Yes, I remember hearing this in the highlight melody, and this is definitely the hook of the song. This gives me vibes of Everglow's Hush or No Lie, that kind of uh, B side track sound, like nostalgic, still upbeat sound, and very Western pop sounding. English? Come through. I know they released an actual full English song, but I was hoping, I guess, hearing more English in this album too, to hear the versatility, because definitely they can sing English so well too. Ooh, that run, vocal run, mm, love it. And it ends with the guitar strings, mm. Okay, immediately sounding very OST track to me. I like that faint clap sound in the background. It definitely keeps it moving forward. Yeah, especially now with the beat coming in. Oh, I love this um, outro part of the chorus. I love that. There's a nice touch to it. Shoot the beat. Boom, boom, boom. I love that. This part gives me a lot of like Blackpink stay that sound. Yeah. I feel like the beat could have been kind of different throughout the song. Instead of dum 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 dum, like maybe dum da dum dum da dum dum da dum or something like that. You know, it could have been different for different parts of the song. It sounds a bit too repetitive at this point. Yeah, like this part, the bridge, you know, the beat rhythm is changing. So, I like that. And then build up back into the chorus for the final time. Hit some high note. I definitely hope they promote with at least, like, with two songs. Like one, the title track and then like another song for the music shows. I think it's like kind of the in thing now with groups to have two songs to promote with. And with Oh My Girl, they had Dear You and um, Dun Dun Dance. Yeah. Good. Um, let's get into the last track of the album, You Are. Yeah, it's definitely like your lo-fi beats kind of a track with that thing going from year to year. Surprisingly, I'm really liking a lot of, pretty much all the tracks on the album for various reasons. Yeah. I'm glad I've, you know, got on, caught on to them, like, you know, right now, and listen to their music. Oh, I love that beat at the back. It sets it, sets it moving, it also gives a very jazzy, flow to it that follows from different nights but definitely more stripped back this time round with especially without the track perfect right i yeah, i really enjoy this the album order for this track list definitely thought through and definitely you know done right i like the kind of have this delayed beat with you are a star and not keeping it to the fixed rhythm it definitely you know adds to the jazzy feel of it overall i love the flow of this you know of course i did say that you know i've i have some pointers to point out about like you know the title track and some of the tracks you know how it could be done better in my opinion of course do let me know in the comment section below if you felt that they're all perfect or you know you also have your thoughts on what could have been done better um, this is just my opinions and I hope you know that we can have a discussion about it you know if you are a fan of Luna and you know do want to chip in on this whole discussion do let me know in the comment section below I'm really really open to hear with that said let's get into the showcase stage of paint the town 
All right, all in white. Okay, it's, it, yeah, it's the same outfits as they wore in that big stadium arena looking place. I mean, I'm probably just looking out for like the performance aspects of the song because it is definitely supposed to be very performance centric. Oh, she's giving me the sass. I love that. The attitude, the right attitude for the song. I don't know. This it's my sense my just my sentence, right? I feel they could work on that expression a bit more, the facial expression. Because with like la ta ta, you know, it could have given more of an meaner demeanor. Which some of them do have, right? But some of them it's kind of like still expression, it kind of kills the energy the song is trying to give. Like for her, this one. She is good. She knows how to do the deck really well, the expression. Oh, I love that. A bit of like acrobatics. A little bit, a little bit. And with her too. Now, I don't want to pinpoint members that are not, I'm, that I'm talking about, they are lacking. But I would like to see good examples. Like her, this one. Please tell me who the name is. I, I need to search it up. But yes, I like her energy that she's giving. She's definitely fitting for the song. It's an iconic thing about like having two members rotating around each other for like any choreo, go go choreo. I love that. Yeah, especially with this one, I'm not like just my opinion. Like with her, because she's giving the ad lib, you no, know, she could have been more like give more of like a I don't know, bring the energy with the special expression instead of just a still face. It's just my thoughts. Like for her, this one, wow, she's good. She knows what she's doing, right? Like, she's definitely giving that, the eye looks and everything. Because they're not a very young group anyways. They have, they've been in the industry for quite a while, so... I wouldn't... I mean, if it was a rookie group, I would give it a benefit of doubt, right? But, I mean, this is just my thoughts, considering that they have debuted and... have been in the industry for quite a while already. But do let me know in the comment section, maybe there's a reasoning why it's that way. Um, maybe it's because it's a new concept for them. I. Also another benefit of doubt for me. Um, but that's it. Uh, I really do enjoy this comeback, especially with Paint the Town as the title track. Several songs on the album. Um, do let me know what are your favorite tracks on the album um, and what your opinions are on my opinions. And um, yeah, do give your two cents, right? <laughs> uh, I love to hear from you and I really do thank you for all uh, the support um, for the past videos and continue to, and I continue to you know to do my research and to provide commentary videos for enjoyment and for uh, for viewing pleasure so with that said thank you very much for checking out my video and see you on the next one